Hey there, my name is Lynette Rice. We're coming to you live from the EW Video Suite at Comic-Con, uh, sponsored by Toyota Corolla, and I'm here with the cast of the Mayans. Thank you so much for coming in to sit on some mushrooms and log. You guys do it so good. I still don't know what to do with my mushroom. Oh, thanks you for look, having us. You look so good. Look so good. So I want to ask you about that period right after the first season. How was it for you going out into the world, and did people recognize you? I mean, what was the reception to the first season? Well, for myself, <laughs> um, I didn't. I don't think people really still know who I was, um, but I did get a lot of attention in the barbershops and uh, T <laughs> TSA. TSA usually knows who I am. Really? Yeah, that's yeah, good. That's that's border, reasons, border, right? border Patrol. They knew who you were. Border Patrol. <laughs> you know, police officers. <laughs> you know, that's terrible. No, but I really do appreciate the uh, Santa Clarita Police Department. Right, right. They've let us out of a couple speeding tickets. Oh, they have? Yeah, it's awesome too. That's really? It's that's amazing. Best. Just keep bringing that up. Oh, yeah. sorry. That's We're live. Uh, yeah. We're live. Oh, wow. <laughs> what about you, JD? Uh, you know, it's it's. Um I, I was so into the work as as we all are. We're we're just so invested into it that you just kind of you forget about that part of it, and then you go to the grocery store wearing Mayans gear, and you're just like, oh, that's a kind of a bad idea yeah. because now you know people are. And it's good though. It's good for the fans, and it's good to have that um, to know that like people are watching, and you're like, wow. Like a lot of people really are watching this, mm -hmm. um, and it just—it's uh, inspiring and it's motivating, and and now we just want to kill it for season two. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. How about you guys? Oh, I honestly I felt really supported. Like the people were, not just like um, they didn't just seem like fans; they seemed so invested. Mm -hmm. They genuinely thought, you know. I was Emily Thomas. They talked to me as if like I was going home to the cartel, <laughs> it, which I'm not. <laughs> um, <laughs> I want to make that really clear live on, on TV. Um, but it, so it just felt really wonderful, and I just felt like people were not just fans, but like almost becoming family. And and um, yeah, we really did have to rip that like Mayans hoodie off JD a lot. Like yeah. he just wore that all the time. You're so proud. You're so proud to wear. So proud. What was it like for you? It was great. Uh, I will say that uh, it was. Uh, huge send-off because of the fact that we came off of uh, Sons of Anarchy. So all of those people were curious, and then they jumped on, and then plus the new group that joined us because we were a Latino cast. Uh, it was amazing. So it really has a tremendous impact in the community. Mm. So will you pick up minutes after the season one finale? Where does the new season pick up? Well, we actually pick up, I believe it's six to eight months after right. season one. Is that correct? That's right. Okay. And, I mean, that was necessary, right? Because you left us hanging. Yeah. Yeah, we did. You did. Yes, we did. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, and now there's been a lot of stuff that's happened in those six and eight months to gear up for what's about to happen now, once we jump right in. For those of you that are watching, this is Elgin. And Elgin is the creator, along with Kurt Sutter, of this incredible project. Elgin. Thanks, Eddie. Elgin. And director. And, and director. director. Great director. You, and you, writer. And writer. You gave us a whammy by, I mean, it, there's the Suns fans love them some happy, big yeah. time. And now yep. he could be a murderer. How Are you going to answer that question relatively quickly or are you going to make us wait? Well, you know, last season was all about secrets, particularly that man's secret, right? And the secret between the brothers and then how when that truth came out and everybody fell apart, this season's about retribution. Love that word. The season's about yeah. revenge. Mm. On everybody's part. Mm -hmm. yeah. On our side of the story and on the other side of the story, that's retribution and it's, whoa, it's really intense. Yeah, it really great, feels like. Great storytellers. Very Shakespearean. So expect everything to happen. No one comes out unscathed. Mm. No, right. No, it's like every, everybody, uh, all the characters just, there's a score to settle. Yeah. yeah. And it's going to be, it's explosive. So. Wow. Yeah. That's what I said. We have we table reads. I told you last time we saw it's going to get easier, but yeah. It does, right, right. Yeah. We, have, we, have, we have story, we have uh, uh, table reads. And so we get to read it as with all of us together for the very first time. We don't get the script in advance. We, we sit there and we're, whoa, we'll get hit. And so it becomes a really, really incredible journey for us as well. What it feels like to the audience when they're seeing it for the very first time is what we feel as we sit and, 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 and read it. And, and cheers and applause. And, and I mean, yeah, people yeah. get so emotional. Yeah. A mm -hmm. lot of crying. A lot, a lot of tears. A lot of tears. Mostly Clayton Cardenas, <laughs> just like last season, but a lot of tears. 
Look at that place. Look at this face. <laughs> you have no idea what they're doing to me this season. I know. Oh you look God. sad, like I'm going to walk in sad. <laughs> he was so I'm going to leave sad. I'm going to wake up sad. No, this so poncho is covering up so <laughs> many things. <laughs> <bruises. laughs> yeah. So much retribution going on underneath. There's a lot of retribution happening. Right? <laughs> One more and I'll let you go. I have to say, I thought at the beginning of the season that the two of you are going to reconnect, but it seems like you're farther apart. It's like mm. that's not going to happen in the life of the show. I mean, do you have any idea? Well, first of all, we, we actually never know how sort of the, the, uh, the end of the season is going to, uh, where it's going to land. But I just, I don't think you can, I don't think you can write anything off. I don't think you can, I don't think we necessarily know where it's going. And I think uh, the audience will be uh, really pleasantly surprised to see um, how relationships or lack thereof develop. I mean, you're really enjoying the whole cartel thing, it seems like. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? It's she like mm -hmm. she's yeah, walking she in shoes that she never thought she'd walk in, and I think finding her footing in a way that sort of scares her, like how how maybe easily one can fall into the fold of the cartel. Yes. Um, and I think like a big, like thematically, I think something in the show, which last year was, you know, dealing with, with you know, the dealing with the situation you're in and trying to figure out your world. And this year, we've all landed in a world and it probably scares us all, sort of thematically, each character. It scares us how much we fit in. She's like an angel in the midst of all the way here. She glows. Yes. All right, all right. That's all we have for right now. Uh, stay tuned. Stay tuned for more. <laughs>